Have you ever taken your car to the mechanic just to get an oil change and they give you a list of things that need to get fixed, including blinker fluid? Well, that's kind of what happened with my 24 to 70 G Master. I might have dropped it and it had a little bit of damage. So I sent it off to Sony's authorized repair place to get it fixed. And they quoted me $2,200 to fix this lens. But I think I can fix this for under $100, but let me set the stage. So I brought my a7S III with my 24 to 70 G Master as a behind the scenes camera to shoot some behind the scenes of me shooting with a new gimbal. And I had it on my small tripod, my small man Frodo tripod that really isn't made for that much weight, but you know, it can handle it if I'm just doing some static things. And so I picked the tripod up like I normally do and somehow it wasn't tight or locked in and the camera fell right off. So it fell off from about waist level right to the ground. And I looked at the camera and I was like, oh no. So I brought it home, I looked over the mount and I noticed that there was one of the four posts that hold the rear mount on and that was broken. So let's try and fix this lens. I think I can do it. So I already had the rear mount off this lens. I just have one screw holding it on to keep the dust out. Clearly the zoom ring is messed up. This is just from age. It's been like this for a while. I'm gonna replace this. But overall the lens really isn't in that bad a shape. They quoted that the front glass was scratched. Clearly it's not. They also had a list of parts to rebuild the entire lens and the lens still works relatively well. But this is actually the part that I need. This is the main barrel that actually holds the mount to the rest of the lens. And it's $83 Canadian. And I'm also gonna replace the zoom ring as well as the rear gasket, but I'm just gonna shut up now and you can enjoy some chill music while I fix this lens.
Okay, so clearly I was able to fix the lens. I'm shooting with it right now, and I actually shot the intro with it. I was being sneaky. I'd say the zoom ring is way smoother than it was before, and the eye detection, face detection, focus breathing compensation. Everything's working as it should. I don't see any reason why I didn't fix it probably as good as any repair shop would. It was an $85 part that fixed the lens, and they wanted to charge so much, and even the quote had like all these things listed that actually wasn't wrong with the lens at all. They just wanted to say that because they assume you're not smart enough to know anything. And one way I could have avoided the situation was by having Sony Pro Support. I had no idea that Pro Support was in Canada now. And you get a lot of benefits. You get like dedicated phone and email support, expedited priority for three day repair turnaround. You get access to repair loaners and early access to special events. And what's also awesome, which would have helped me, was complimentary round trip shipping, labor discounts for out of warranty repairs and up to three camera and lens cleaning events. So that's really awesome. And it's not even that expensive, $99 US or $130 Canadian annually. And I probably should have had this and I think I'm gonna get it because it may have made this a lot cheaper and I <laughs> wouldn't have had to fix it myself. I know this was a super random video, but if you made it this far, you're probably a nerd and you like watching things get fixed. But I just wanna say thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Eye detection. I'm telling you, it's working perfect. Focus breathing compensation on the A7 IV is amazing. Looks great.